Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post every Saturday and sometimes if I do feel like there are some more things that I do want to share with you guys, I will upload during the week prior to that day. But yeah, so today um, what we are going to be doing is doing a little review on this guy right here. I'm super excited. So basically it did, I did end up unboxing it already. I did try it out. I have looked up some different things on here. So, so far, um, my first impressions on it was kind of like, wow, it's super, super quiet, super easy to put together. And... The air is like it doesn't it doesn't have like too much pressure because you guys would be able to see like my hand going in. But you guys could, mm, you could like on my hand a little bit, you guys could see it going in. But you have to get like super super close for it. But it I'll show you guys what it did come with. It did come with a little thing to screw up at the top, a small, small one. You could screw that right here to put your paints in, or if you want to be covering more stuff, you end up getting this one, or this one right here. They all have lids to them, which is super amazing, and then after, it even comes with a little charger, but it doesn't come with, like, the little square to plug in the wall. Um, the charger it is kind of tight, like, when you put it in, like, you kind of have to shove it in there, um, but that's not a big deal. I do wish that there was a little, like covering to put over this this is what the packaging looked like nothing super super special but um it even also came with a dropper i can't find the dropper right now and it came with this little wrench what the wrench is for is for the front of it so when you take off this um i did end up first doing i tried to end up first using this um i used it and i'll show you guys like the first things that i've done with it and kind of explain from there and i'm gonna go ahead and do a trial for you in just a second just to show you guys um basically after i did end up working with it a little bit more um so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i do and what i learned on other videos that could help you guys to get this thing to work the proper way and because my goal is to make it look seamless and beautiful so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um basically like my swatches of it real quick this was the first first one that i did use you guys could see that it was very very splattery on some parts like um like if you look very close to some of it you guys could see like the speckles and um i kept trying to get more of let me see Kind of like this blend with even less speckle. Or let me, okay. So right here in this area, that was like the one that I liked the most. And I didn't use airbrushing paints in it, so I'm like, maybe that was the reason why. But I had seen other people who have been using airbrushes, and they, they showed how to mix acrylic paint because that was a cheaper alternative. And, of course, that's what I was trying to do for you guys to make sure the budget was low for you guys. And then the next day, I was kind of, like, messing around. I cleaned it out really good, but then it was sputtering. I first started to do this, and it sputtered so bad. And then this was, like, kind of still bad. And then after the next day, I cleaned it out again, tried again, and it just got worse. So... Today, basically, what I'm going to do is try to make this thing work for you guys, so stay tuned, and yeah, let's go ahead and see how to get this baby to work, and hopefully these tips and tricks that I found, hopefully these will help, and they will work for me, and they will also work for you, too. There are different parts to this, and I'm going to go ahead and take this off, and this off. They say that you have to be very careful with the needle, because if you're not, um, you could bend the needle, and the needle will basically be no good. And even sometimes when after you think that you've cleaned it, you could pull out the needle and you guys could see how dirty that is. So I thought I cleaned it out pretty good, but clearly I didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it off. And then after I'm going to go ahead and show you guys something that um, basically what I learned and we'll go ahead and put it to the test. They said that you could get toothpaste. So I'm going to go ahead and get the toothpaste that I use and I'm just going to go ahead and get a towel and put some of the toothpaste on there and basically what they said is that you could get this and you could polish it so basically the reason why you're going to polish with um 
with toothpaste is because sometimes I guess um like the little bit of abrasion that it has in it it'll just kind of like help when the needle is super smooth I guess like from what I learned on a video was that basically it'll make everything so much seamlessly and the more you work with it the better that it will be you only really need to do the top of the needle um you don't really need to do the end of the needle but be careful when you are doing this to not bend or break it all right you guys you know what i did decide that i was gonna try my increased nail art inks so that is what I'm going to be using in here today. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I pour in here. Um, just so you guys know I'm not um, using something that I'm not. Um, I want to make sure that you guys know what I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And they say you could mix it. Like say if you did mix something. Oops. But like if you did mix something, if you hold the tip of it and then you mix it up by just pressing. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and started and look how flawless, like even if you wanted to like back it up a little bit, you can do so and then get close, but look, oh my gosh you guys, I'm going to go ahead and try this on a nail, <laughs> I want to get the white Apriest nail art inks, or even just try inks in general, but I feel like this looks super super cool, or you know, I feel like you guys need to keep the trigger forward. But if there's a lot of air built up in there, it'll do that. See, like if I let it sit for a second and then I go like that, it's going to come out. Versus it's like, see that splatter was smaller. But it's like, look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's coming out so seamlessly. Let me go ahead and use this matte top coat from Montage Nail Supply. I did want to use this light to see how it works because if you guys know that I had just gotten this light. If you guys want to see a review on this, if you guys are a mobile nail tech or just looking for a nice um, little d light for your desk and you don't want something super bulky or you're a DIYer, let me know if you guys want me to review this for you. Um, just because I was kind of intrigued in the fact that it was like, I believe it was only like $15. I'm going to be using is this a priest and then I'm gonna go ahead and do this a little bit off camera or like right here okay and you guys can see how seamless that is I'm already so excited and I like to do it I'm gonna do it a little bit and work my way up work my way up work my way down and I don't want to keep pressing on it because sometimes it'll sputter and you might need to even wait for it in between. So I think I actually need more in there. I ran out too fast or I just didn't even put enough in there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera because I kind of spilt it. Um, as you guys could see that I think I got more on my table than I did even in the airbrush. So I'm going to go ahead and run it again. Okay, there it goes. And this one, it is the brown pigment from them. And of course, these would be super easy to mix. Like if you guys are trying to do a specific color. So yeah, you guys, that is what it looks like. I do kind of want to blend that line a little bit more. Okay, look how seamless that looks, you guys. Even if you want to go darker, you guys could go darker. But yeah, that's what it is looking like. And see, I don't know if you guys could tell, but it sputtered a little bit. I should have went off of it and then went on. But I feel like everything's been blending so seamlessly that I really I really wasn't too worried. And I did it anyways. Because um, sometimes it'll get stuck on here. And then after, like, the drip of it will, like, just be pushed out or forced out with air. 
So I don't like to get that close to it just because I feel like then it doesn't blend. Oopsie. Okay, let me go back in and try to fix the mess I made. Let me go ahead and let that dry. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. But you guys could see that the pigment is a little, or like using an airbrush, it is a little bit messier than using the sponge. But, I mean, I think it does take a little bit of time to get used to. But cleanup of this is super easy. I just pour acetone in mine. As long as it's um, not another cup, I feel like personally it should be fine. But you never know. Make sure to look up manufacturers and stuff like that. Because this is pretty darn good, you guys. I love the way it blends. Even if you guys want to go lighter, I don't feel like you even need to go this dark. And I do feel like if you guys could see it, but it is like a blue-black kind of color. But let's try it. Let's see how it looks. But this was actually so easy, you guys. See, I sputtered again. Okay, so that is what it is looking like. It looks really, really good. I know I said I don't want to put acrylic paint in here after I did that and cleaned it out and whatnot, but I'm going to do it for you guys. So, okay, so now I'm going to get this acrylic paint. I believe I got this at Joann's and I used my coupon on it, but there are, no, I didn't actually I used my coupon on something else. But um, they're already dirt cheap, but even if you use your coupon with it, makes it even cheaper. But see, um, using water actually is a lot better. It blends the two, it blends the paint and this so, so, so much better. So I'm going to go ahead and add another drop of paint. I've seen some people even put it in a bottle and shake it up with like a marble in there and they just like save the black or whatever color that they need. Um, that would actually, this is actually like the cheaper option instead of having to get the priest nail art inks, but let's see how this works. Hopefully it does because I want to be able to save my money too. <laughs> um, so let me go ahead and off camera, I'm going to go ahead and paint it with Take It Off by Tracy's Nails. And then after we could go ahead and get started. Alright you guys, so I wanted to show you guys comparing what these look like. This one, it is an acrylic ombre, so that is what that looks like. But look at this. Look at how beautiful that looks. Like the seamless blend, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. So, you guys know that that is already like one of my favorites, so... All right, I went ahead and put the acrylic paint in here just for the sake of the video. I don't really want to take that long. I'm going to go ahead. Okay, so I kind of want to wait till the paint gets out. Oh, that's what the paint's looking like so far. It does look sputtery. This is the paint from Apri, and that is the, the acrylic paint. Let me go ahead and try and see if that works on here. Uh, bear with me, you guys. Uh. Okay, so maybe if I try to mix a little bit more acrylic in there, just because that didn't go well at all. So I went ahead and wiped it down. And let's go ahead and do another drop of acrylic paint in here. Okay. And then after, I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up with my little brush. Make sure to get in there. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Keep on mixing it. Even if you don't think you got to, mix it, and mix it more. You guys, I have been dirtying up and staining so many of my towels just to try to get this right for you guys. Um, trying to do trial and errors, honestly, it is such a mess. Okay, 
Uh, yeah, that is not, also not working. Let me run it through and make sure. I'm gonna run it through and maybe I just need more to get to the front of it. Okay, there we go. That is getting a little bit better. There we go. So let's try it. So I think with this, you guys really need to, if you guys are doing it this way, I would recommend um, letting it dry in between just because I do feel like with the water, it does kind of take a second to dry. You guys could kind of see the top of it. It dried up, but the tip of it is still pretty glossy. Um, let me go, let me take some time in between. Um, I'll like let it sit for a few seconds until it's not as glossy and then I'm gonna go in and try again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try again. Okay, the blend of this, honestly, it is not my favorite whatsoever. So, with that being said, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and call it a day with acrylic paint just because acrylic paint, as much as it works for other people, I don't know if it's just that their, um, their brushes are a lot more high quality, but it is not working for me um, at all. Let me know if you guys use this um airbrush and if acrylic paint works for you what is the mixture you you use i've tried windex i've tried alcohol i've tried water i've tried a lot of different things that i've seen on the internet and nothing has worked for me everything's came out very sputtery and yeah and i don't feel like this came out as sputtery like the specs on this one i don't know if you guys could see that but it is a lot more than this one i'm gonna go ahead and do a top coat on the other two and show you guys what I think, and yeah. All right, you guys. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys learned anything or just enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. Bye.